If your C-arm was purchased from block imaging, the cables needed to connect your Metacap device will already be run carefully and neatly through the interior of your C-arm's chassis. In the case of some C-arms, you'll be provided with a BNC style video cable. In other cases, it will be an S video cable. In either case, you can take the provided video cable and plug it into the corresponding video input port on the back side of your Metacap. You can also take the end of the power cable and connect it to the three prong port on the back side of the Metacap. Turn the Metacap around and insert the provided Metacap flash drive into the USB port on the front of the device. With that, your Metacap is connected to your C-Arm system. If your C-Arm was purchased from a provider other than block imaging, the connections to your Metacap device will need to be made externally. Take your video cable, whether BNC or S-Video, and connect it to the corresponding external monitor output on your C-Arm monitor cart. The other end can be connected to the video input port on the back side of your Metacap. The end of your power cable can be connected to the three-prong port on the back of the Metacap and plugged into a standard wall outlet. Take your Metacap flash drive, plug it into the USB port, and your Metacap device is once again connected to your C-Arm. When you're ready to capture a still image or a video with your Metacap, simply take your exposure as you normally would. You'll notice that a preview image will pop up on the small LCD monitor on the front of the Metacap. There are a couple of indicators that will remind you you need to have the USB drive plugged into the front of the Metacap. One is on the LCD screen itself, it's a small icon shaped like a USB drive with a red X next to it. The other indicator is an orange LED light between the capture video and capture photo buttons. When you plug in your flash drive, the LED light will become green and the icon on the preview monitor will disappear. To capture the image displayed on the preview monitor, simply press capture photo and wait for the green light to stop blinking. Be careful not to remove your flash drive while the light is still blinking. This indicates that the machine is still in the process of saving that image. Press capture video at the beginning of the time frame you would like to record and press it again at the end. Your flash drive can now be removed and plugged into any USB compatible computer for images to be stored either on a hard drive or on your PAC system.